what uh, you heard their nominees. What's what exactly sets apart the Movie Guide Awards from all the other different awards? For, for movie why, why don't you talk about your experience and then I'll tell them the, the backstory. Okay. Well, I, I've um, I've presented a couple of times here at the at the Movie Guide Awards, and it's, I mean, I, essentially, I believe that. You know, as, as far as I can see, you come here to the awards with the expectation that it, it, we're going to be celebrating films that families can see, celebrating films that, you know, have some God in it, you know? And, I mean, you can't, you can't say that. It doesn't take away from the, the quality of other films. But um, I, I think that there is a, uh, a place for all kinds of films, and, and Movie Guide wants to see more films that um, represents, you know, the love of God in them and, and represents something um, maybe a bit more positive, maybe not as cynical as a, as a, a lot of movies um, uh, might have. So I, I think that's the push. And I know when I come to the awards, it's, it's just great. It's a great time. Um, everybody's got a smile on their face, and, and it's for... Uh, a, a greater cause, so to speak. So, you know, I'm I'm a little uh, surprised, pleasantly surprised by God moving in this because, and I don't want to get too uh, hyper spiritual, but for instance, Snow White, the top producers and writers want to come to the gala, and we're first on board saying this is something we want to do, and we've heard that from more groups of people mm. that I wouldn't have expected because they're at the top of their game, their names are well known. Uh, and they're just, uh, they're not even intimidated about coming and saying, we want to be part of this because we're, we're now on the side of the good. Yeah, that's good. Um, most films have a, some kind of redemption for the primary character in the end or have some kind of good feeling, happy ending or Hollywood ending as they say that ties it all up. So what's that dividing line that's, that's, that makes a movie a movie guide movie versus just a regular Hollywood movie that has a great story and a great ending? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the first is that uh, about 60% of the films, because we do all the numbers, I mean, we, we spend a lot of time, we see 100% of the films that open in, you know, 100 theaters or more. I mean, we're very detailed about it. We may miss a film that, that plays at the Northwestern <laughs> University Film Festival, mm -hmm. but we see most films. 60% uh, of the films are independent films. And that used to be governed uh, by a really you know, a lot of sex, a lot of violence, a lot of cruelty, a lot of death, and a lot of negative stuff. That's changing because now you have, I'm going to see one of the studio heads today who did uh, Fireproof, et cetera, and they're doing more movies that people of faith are doing and more movies that just have good stories to them, like Criminal Minds is being honored. It's just a good story. But we show the more bad elements you put, the less money they make. So a movie with no bad elements will make this much money, and a movie with a lot of bad elements will make this much. And I'm, I'm talking about big movies that you wouldn't think of, like Les Miserables and others that are, that are giant movies, but they've got, you know, I don't think there's one F word in Les Mis, right? <laughs> You've talked a lot about how there's um, more positive films, and what do you, that, that has grown over the past, you know, several years, what do you kind of, credit that too? Do you think that the current economic situation and here in America has something to do with that? I do think our statistics are starting to make a difference because we're invited to go and meet with executives and people to show them. And I get a lot of scripts from people in Hollywood saying, would you read my script and tell me what you think about it? One of the biggest producers in Hollywood gave me a script for um, uh, Ben-Hur and um, he had a temple uh, Bale Temple prostitute scene, and I said, you know, this has been her. I'm not sure whether your audience really wants to see this, this scene. So he, he yelled at me for a while, and then he said, I'll take it out, because I guess you're right. Nobody wants to go see Ben Hur and watch these uh, things. So we see a lot of people actually asking, how can we do better at the box office? Meanwhile, if you watch The Avengers, which made over a billion six at the box office, you know, it's affirming, giving up your life for others, caring about others. You know, uh, Iron Man has got the best character arc, I think, is in movies, because he goes from always being a jerk to being the yeah. guy who's willing to lay his life down for other people. So there's, there's just, it's a different thing. You walk out of one theater and you feel like you're depressed and you looked at everybody and you say, what are they doing to me? And you walk out of the other one and you feel like, I could actually do this. I could actually help somebody 
even when it wasn't to my own benefit. And I, and I like that, you know, I like that you mentioned the Avengers because I don't know if anyone would necessarily look at the Avengers and say, oh yeah, that's a, you know, but it's, it doesn't always have to be overt, you know, yeah. it, it can be sort of the underlying, you know, message. sentiments, the, the underlying message. And I, I think that's another, uh, an, another great point. Well, Marvel's going to like that because one of the studio heads is coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'll sit him down and talk to him about the next Avenger. Amen. <laughs> All right. Do you think that there's anything that really stuck out to you, too, about the year in, in film? Or television. Or television. Uh, white Collar. Wow. <laughs> white Collar. White that, Collar is one of the most popular really shows. There's this FBI agent on White Collar who's really terrific. He's a what's great actor. What's his the, the character name? <laughs> uh, the, the, agent Jones. That's right. It's great, great. Uh, yeah. So, you know, there, there's, it's just that every single area we see more variety. You know, uh, that's a good question because the uh, truth of the matter is you used to think, as Sharif was saying, that if it was a Christian film, it'd be a drama. Now you've got big uh, action adventure with, with values of people laying down their lives and redemptive values, as Chris was saying. You've got uh, uh, dramas, you've got little personal stories like Kevin James being a teacher and his school is falling apart and he has to save the school. You've got all sorts of different venues and genres and types of movies that have heart to them and soul and are not just bashing uh, whatever the system is and saying that things are bad. 